Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got something for everyone today, whether you're just getting started on your CCNA or you're in the middle of it now, or you're working on your switch and T-shoot exams. Because not only do I have a lab here for you today, and actually it's a scenario. We're going to take a look at it, and I need you to help me troubleshoot it, you know, figure out what's going on here. But sooner or later, when you're troubleshooting, especially when you're beginning, you're going to see a scenario that you haven't seen before or just something that you haven't seen before and you have to kind of get used to that and that may well be the chance uh, what's going on today and we'll see that if you've seen this before now I know that you've seen serial X is up line protocols down during your NA and NP studies we've run into that a lot a lot of layer 2 troubleshooting and we're certainly familiar with the many possible causes for that just a couple of those of course the missing clock rate uh, if you're running frame relay, if you have an LMI mismatch, you know, that's going to make the line protocol come down. Uh, you could have an encapsulation mismatch where you're running one in frame relay on one end and HDLC on the other. Those are just three possibilities. There are others. Now, when I first started studying this stuff, this drove me crazy because no one really explained what this meant. Because I would look at it and say, well, how can something be up and then another part of it is down? You know, it seems to be an all or nothing thing. Well, remember, when we're talking about the first part of this interface, readout, when the physical interface itself is mentioned or the interface itself is mentioned, that's talking about the physical state of the interface. And then when we talk about line protocol, we're talking about the logical state of the interface. So an interface can be up physically, but down logically. And again, that's something we run into, into a lot in our NA studies with those serial interfaces. So here's something you might not have run into as often, though. What in the world can cause this? I'm on router 3, and I'm looking at interface Ethernet 0, and I'm getting Ethernet 0 is up, line protocol is down. And I probably get an email on this or a tweet or something on the Facebook page at least two or three times a week. And it is unusual because if you see this, you go, well, wait a minute. You know, I, it's not going to be any LMI problem because you're not going to be running frame really on an Ethernet interface. And we're not really talking any clock rates and we're not really talking anything. I mean, you just, you know, plug in with Ethernet and you go, right? So especially for beginning troubleshooters, and again, I'm saying this because I went through the same thing. When you see a problem in a lab, production network, wherever, when you see a problem, you tend to just concentrate on the device you're looking at right now. And you could spend a lot of time here troubleshooting router 3, and you wouldn't find anything. So if I'm telling you that, that's pretty much telling you what we should do. And I know it's cliche, you know, it sounds cliche, you have to look at the big picture, you have to look at the whole picture, however you want to put it. But you do have to remember there's a network beyond the device that you're looking at right now. And again, at the very beginning of your studies, that's a hard thing to remember because we're just concentrating on getting everything right on the local device, right? So I guess we ought to take a look at the switch that this router is connected to. And I just happen to know where that is. I mean, might not be able to get to it, but there we go. And what I like to do in my lab is I got router 3 connected to port 03, fast Ethernet 03. And this is what you got to watch out for. The problem on router 3 is being caused at the switch level because I have it connected to an interface that is administratively down. And we all know what we got to do with that, right? We got to do a no shut on it. And while switch ports are open by default, and this may be what you're thinking, it's like, well, switch ports are open by default. How did this get administratively down? Well, for security purposes, for one thing, a lot of admins, including myself, like to close interfaces that are not actively being used. I don't like to just have open interfaces hanging out there. So let's go to this interface and see if that is the problem. We'll go back to router 3 as soon as I did a no shut and you can see the line protocol coming up immediately. And that really can throw you the first time you see it because it's like line protocol and Ethernet down but it's up. How could that be? But that is, uh, that is how it be. So it's just that simple but remember when you're troubleshooting uh, especially when you're first getting started with it 
when you eliminate a couple things locally, just remember it could be a problem on another device that is actually creating the problem you're seeing in front of you. Thanks for watching today's lab. I'm Chris Bryant. We've got plenty of free ebooks coming up this summer. It's the biggest summer in TBA history, thanks to Bulldogs like you. Thanks for watching and for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.